Here you see a 3D printed electromagnet. I printed this red coil with PLA material and this thing will melt 90%. Now when I turn on this power supply, a current will pass through this wire and this thing will turn into an electromagnet and how many amps it draws will see the current here. Yeah, 10 amps, almost 10 amps. If I wait any longer like this, it's gonna start frying like a chicken, definitely. It's hot, it's really hot. So let's take a look at the magnetic field lines. This is a magnetic field viewer. There's a thin layer of oil between this paper and there are nickel particles in it. As you know, nickel is ferromagnetic and if a magnetic field is near it, these nickel particles can move freely yes. and we can see it. And that means magnetic field. Did you see that? Now this black outline represents the magnetic field lines. There's an inward to the paper magnetic field here. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there is no black part around the coil. The strongest part is right in the, right in the center. The magnetic field lines are probably like this. So now let's find the exact position of this magnetic field. Wow, looks like it's quite strong. In the center of the coil, the magnetic field is very strong. And as you can see, there is no magnetic field around the outside of the coil. Oh, now I'm gonna add a bolt in the center. This bolt is ferromagnetic and is looking terrible. So hot. It's actually melted and warped. So it could interact with the magnet because of it's ferromagnetic. So powerful. I don't know exactly, but maybe it has a force of half a kilo right now. By the way, the wire is 0.5 millimeter and 45 turns. Alright guys, this is PLA and surrounded by a coil with 45 turns. Oh, it's melting. Oh my. Wow. Look at that. Oh boy. Look at the PLA. <laughs> it's hot, really hot. I can't hold hold my hand on it. Okay, let's continue. 10 amps. And it can't burn anymore. No, actually, there's a smoke. F my. 